You do not have permission to throw in the towel. See, Isaiah says, I, your eye, I, has not seen, neither ear heard, neither has entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those that love him. Come on. God is not, he doesn't play sight games. He doesn't say, hear, sight. No, he doesn't do that. God is not a man that he should lie. If God be for you, who can be against you? Come on. You don't acquiesce with the devil and dance to his tune while he beats you down and grinds you into powder and makes you feel like a lost cause. You don't do that. You don't agree with anything that is an enemy of God. If God said it, that settles it. Whether you believe it or not, baby, that settles it. Take it to the bank. You'll never get a bounce check, not on God's promises. The problem with us, as Andrea told in her parable, this problem with us is we get impatient. Let patience have its perfect work. Mm. I know the hard part of that is tribulation, work is patience. But patience, experience, and experience hope. And hope makes not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. <laughs> We need to have more patience at all times because no matter what's going on, God is not going to be rushed or manipulated into speeding things up because he knows what it takes to germinate you. He knows what it takes to nourish you. He knows what will strengthen you. And there are some things you cannot move forward to yet. Yet, just yet. Until God has equipped you on the inner man. And he uses life. Trials. Challenges. Problems. Issues. Confrontations. Set backs, failures. He uses all of that. Disillusionments. He, lose, he uses all of that to build us up on the inner man. He's building you up in the most holy faith. You can't believe if you've never had your beliefs tested. Because when you believe and, and the test comes through, God comes through every time. And every time God comes through, it builds your faith. There are things that I can ask God for now. I can expect from God now. When, when I first got saved, I didn't even have enough faith to know if he was interested in hearing my little sorry prayers. And still waffling about whether he even existed or not. God built, he uses life to build your faith. He builds your faith through challenges. It's called resistance training. He will heal you, but you gotta ask him. You know how you know you're wounded? You know how you know you're messed up in certain areas of your life? You know how you find out that you didn't really forgive Brother Appleseed like you thought you forgave him? because God will set up the stage, bam. He sets the scene in place. All the little characters, he's already got them orchestrated. And you gotta play it through. And when you play it through, sometimes Jack jumps out the box. It's not to humiliate you. It's not to show you what a louse you are. It's to show you this is a weak area 
and we're gonna gird this baby up. Now you ask me to heal you, and that area won't even be a part of your life once the healing's complete. <laughs>